Hello, this is not really a video I want to make, but I feel like I have to make it because things are getting out of control. So, for context, I stream on Twitch, then I upload the clips of it as shorts, and then I use the same clips to make compilations every Sunday. Pretty simple, right? So, the clip in question is both uploaded as a short and then the compilation. The short released first, then the compilation. We will start from the compilation, you will understand why soon enough. The entire thing that sparked everything was a comment left on that video which essentially said that comparing hsr to watering waves is not good because it's watering waves is supposed to compete with genshin which okay yeah that is fair enough however what this implies is that if you like a game genre that is the only game genre you play if you like one genre of music that is the only music you listen to if you like one genre of movies you will only exclusively watch movies from this genre. It sounds pretty ridiculous when you put it this way, is it, doesn't it? Also, a lot of Genshin players were dissatisfied with the game and moved to Honkai Star Rail, so obviously when Wuthering Waves releases, it will impact Honkai Star Rail. However, this isn't even the most egregious thing that happened in this comment section. I don't even know how to put this in words, so I'm just gonna read out the comment word for word. I think you don't understand what he's trying to say. Honkai Saga are not to focus on fight with another game, it's more like be himself. Be a Honkai game with all things and they have a sector, a very fan sector that love it. It's just a Honkai game. Nice story, nice things to do, and nice stuff soon. I don't know, I mean, when they gift first book and see the content or ending first part when they give the virtual book remembering all things till launch is a very fun and nostalgic experience because it's a honkai game developer team working on hsr know how to tell a good and traumatic story on otherwise genshin is a game made for fight with another company just to see how they works more on trailers and want graphic update on a few words hsr don't join Join a battle for content. Genshin, yes, and soon ZZZ. Broken English aside, but what I'm gathering from this comment, what this person is implying, is that the developers choose which games compete with who. And suddenly, when they decide that the Honkai games are just themselves, then suddenly no games can compete with them and nothing that happens around them impacts them. Obviously that is not the case, and if all that was needed for a game to keep going was a fan sector and nice stuff, then why have we not gotten a new Mafia game in years? Why have we not gotten a new Heroes of Might and Magic game in years? Why does it take Rock did it take Rockstar over 10 years to make a new GTA game? It's obvious that it's not just because the developers didn't want to develop a new game, obviously it more goes into it than just having quote-unquote nice stuff and a fan sector in the game which i think they i think they were referring to just it has a group of fans which it helps sustain the game but that is not enough for it to keep going it has to be cautious of everything that is happening around it it can't just keep on going releasing the same slop if other games are offering better content, most people will leave. Sure, the dedicated fan sector, who is already way too deep, and the, the sunken cost fallacy will be too much for them to change the game until it goddamn shuts down. However, that is not how most players are. When a free game which offers better content is available, why wouldn't they just change which game they are playing? Again, a lot of Genshin players went to HSR because Genshin had no endgame content and Honkai Star Rail did, myself included. I stopped playing Genshin because it ran out of content that I enjoyed, and I went to play Honkai. Now that Wooder Wave is coming out and it does have endgame content, if I'm being honest, if it's a better game, I might leave Honkai Star Rail completely and just stick with Wooder waves. That thing aside, let's now move to the short, because this gets a lot more grim, you'll see. So, looking at the comment section of the, of the short, which has the same content as in the video, it is a little cut down obviously because it's a short, but the general idea is still there. Now, what I find completely terrifying, the fact that people admit Genshin has no content, they admit that there is nothing to do in the game. And I I kid you not, a lot of the comments were, if you, if you think that Honkai Star Rail is bad, then take a look at how little content Genshin has. So I was wondering, well if it has so little content, why are people playing? 
if everyone is complaining that there is no content, why are people still playing this? And then it hit me, because there, there were a few comments that didn't specifically say it, but essentially they implied that they don't care what the content is. They don't care what the events are in Genshin. The only thing that they care about is that they have enough jades to roll per patch. So what this implies is they are not playing Genshin for Genshin anymore, or even they, they are not even playing Honkai Star Rail for Honkai Star Rail anymore. They are now playing these games because it feeds their gambling addiction. If this doesn't worry you, I don't know what to tell you. Now, you might say that this is completely ridiculous, and I, I think so as well. I also think this is ridiculous, but it just kind of makes sense. Genshin only has one big patch once per year. How can a game keep their players if it only ever has one big update once a year? And then for half a year there's practically nothing. From what I've heard, 4.3 is practically nothing, 4.4 is practically nothing, 4.5 is practically nothing, 4.6 is practically nothing. But it does not matter, because the people playing the game don't care what the content is as long as they have enough jades to roll. That is... I, I don't have words for this. I am taken aback by this. And I say this genuinely. I'm not kidding when I say that the best thing that could happen to Watering Waves is that these people stay playing Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. Because if if Watering Waves also adapts the ideology of we do not care what the content is as long as there is enough pools, as long as there is enough jades to gamba once per patch, then we're gonna get the same unvoiced slop with generic NPCs. And that is by far the worst thing that could ever happen to Wuthering Waves. And I say this genuinely. If you are one of those people who only play Genshin for the polls and don't care about the content, get help. I say this genuinely. Get help.